Freddie, welcome to AFC Bournemouth. How pleased are you to be here? Yeah, I'm absolutely delighted. Um, you know, it should have, uh, it was meant to happen in the summer, um, but I think uh, everything happens for a reason. And uh, yeah, I'm just so, so happy to be here now and um, to, to get it over the line, especially on the last day is, uh, it's brilliant for me. There were obviously those rumours and links in the summer. There was the rumours and links over the last few days. What have the last sort of 24, 48 hours been like for you? Yeah, it's been, it's been busy for me. Um, we, uh, we had a trip to, to Saudi Arabia with Newcastle um, and I got wind uh, that I'd be, you know, coming down here as soon as I got back. So yeah, uh, I had to get back from, New, uh, from Saudi to Newcastle, then down to, to Bournemouth. Um, it's been a bit of traveling, but it'll be, uh, it'll be worth it because uh, I feel like I've signed for, for a fantastic football club. Now there's a lot of connections between AFC Bournemouth and Newcastle United at the moment. Did you speak to the coaches before you came here and, and what did they have to say to you about the club? Yeah, definitely. You know, I spoke to, first and foremost, I spoke to, 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 the, to, the, to the players, um, you know, Callum Wilson, Matty Ritchie, uh, you got, we've got Wee Man as well. Uh, there's a lot of connections and, and they spoke so highly about the club and, uh, and they knew that, you know, if I did come down here, that I would, that I would enjoy it. Um, so they was really pushing for me to come down here and then obviously you know the management staff uh, they've been brilliant since they've come in really uh, tried to, to help me and improve me as a player and, and, and they was uh, definitely all for me uh, coming, coming back here. Now you first played at Vitality Stadium with England under 21s as a 3-0 win in a European qualifier over Latvia in 2017 what do you remember uh, of that game? Uh, I don't remember much about the game, but I remember much about staying in Bournemouth. It was, uh, I stayed in, in, I think it was the Hilton, um, and my roommate at the time, uh, Dale, who plays for Middlesbrough, yeah, we were just saying how, how nice it must be to, to play down uh, in a place like Bournemouth. Um, people are great, people are so welcoming. It looks like it's a, it's, it's a great city. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy to, to come down here and actually, uh, you know, live down here as well. More recently, you would have played here for Swansea City in the Championship last season. What did you make of, you know, the facilities? Obviously, the game was behind closed doors, but it was probably a bit more recent in your memory. I remember the pitch being like a carpet. That's what I do remember. Uh, I remember walking out and thinking the pitch was absolutely unbelievable. Um, but yeah, I was, I was annoyed that I wasn't able to play in front of a, a crowd down here because I always know it's, um, it's a decent atmosphere. Um, I've been on the bench a few times for Newcastle when, when Bournemouth were in the Premier League and I always remember it being a uh, really loud, um, loud stadium. Um, so I'm sure that, you know, when, I, when, when we do come to the games, I'll be excited to, to hear that atmosphere. You've had several loan spells over the last few years, some in League Two, some in Scotland, but that loan spell with Swansea must have really given you a feel of what the Championship was all about. Yeah, it was massive for me. It was massive, uh, you know, two years spent down in South Wales. It was, it was fantastic. And um, it's given me like this, this, this burning sort of, you know, energy that you know, I want to get out of this league. And uh, that was one of the main reasons why I wanted to come here. Um, it's been eating away at me that I didn't manage to do it with Swansea. And, you know, I was twice I was so close to doing it. And um, so, yeah, I've, I've come here and with the full focus of, you know, that, that, is, the, that is the aim to, to get this team uh, and this club in, in, into, the, into the Premier League. That was, in fact, my next question. You know, you've been so close to that promotion in the last two years. Can you sort of channel that energy and, and almost disappointment from the last couple of years into the last six months of the season here? Yeah, it, 100%. Um, it hurts, you know, it hurts when you don't go up, um, especially twice on the bounce. Um, and I've sort of channeled, channeled that, that, that energy uh, into every training session I do, every gym session I do, is the full focus of, you know, I need to, I need to you know, do this again and, and, and really try and get a, a team promoted from, from the championship. So hopefully I can come here, you know, with my experiences uh, from the championship before and, and really help the team because I know that they're, they're doing fantastically well at the moment. So hopefully I can add to, add to that. Someone who's always been there in your career is your dad, Andy. He's now manager of Bromley. They're going well in the National League. Just tell us a little bit about your relationship with him. You must certainly get a lot of your winning mentality from him. Yeah, 100%, 100%. He's, uh, he's doing a fantastic job at Bromley. Um, yeah, he's, uh, he's a fun, fun uh, interesting character. Um, but yeah, he's, he's been brilliant for me throughout my career. Um, he's actually come down today. Uh, they, they, they got a day off at Bromley. So he's come down with me uh, uh, to sign today, which, which is a nice moment. Um, so yeah, he's been fantastic for me in my career. And he really gives me that drive and that ambition to, to go on to win things. Now, in terms of your connections who are already here, 
you won the under 17 Euros and the under 20 World Cup. Lewis Cook was in both of those squads. I think you said you roomed with Lloyd Kelly. You'll obviously know Dominic Solanke and, and Aaron Ramsdale, who was previously here from, from your England days with him. Just tell us, you know, it must seem like a bit of a family feel around here. Uh, yeah, it's nice. It, it is nice coming into a club and, and you know, know a few faces. Um, obviously, Cookie was, was my captain when, when we won the World Cup, one of my, you know, Best best achievements as a player, and I always I always <laughs> keep calling him Skip for it. You know, I still see him now and call him Skip. Uh, it's sort of just stuck. Um, he's he's a great guy. Um, I roomed with you know Lloyd, like you said, Lloyd Kelly at the uh, under 21s Euros, and obviously played with uh, Salanks for for a long time. So yeah, a lot of connections uh, coming down here, and it's always nice walking into a change room where you know a few uh, familiar faces. It's not just England where you've made those connections. You've obviously played with Jamal Lowe at Swansea, your loan spell at Aberdeen, you're with Ryan Christie. Have you had much of a chance to speak to them and, and are you looking forward to seeing them when you can? I haven't, I haven't actually spoke to anyone. I, I don't, uh, until it's actually done, it's, uh, um, that's when I'll start speaking to people. So I haven't, haven't done anything like that uh, so far, but really looking forward to, to, to seeing you know, Ryan after, after so long um, and obviously seeing Jamal. Spent, spent a great time with Jamal at, at Swansea and we had a lot of competition in training and, and, a, and a good bit of banter. So uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing, seeing them both. And just finally, I'm sure we all know the answer, but what are your, your goals and ambitions for the rest of the season? That promotion to the Premier League must be right at the forefront of your mind, as you say. Yeah, that's, that's definitely at the forefront of my mind. It's, it's, you know, my ambition and my goals is, is to come here and help this, this team. Um, I think the team has done fantastic already so far this season. And I just feel like I can you know, come in and add to that. Um, I feel like with my character, uh, with my experiences, Hopefully I'll be uh, good around the place and, and I'm really hope, uh, hoping to help the team you know, achieve that, that goal of getting into the Premier League.